We've heard everything possible from the United side of the Sancho story, but what's going on in Dortmund? To speak to me about that today, I'm joined by Sasha Klaverkamp, who is head of sport at Lensing Media, and Ruhe Nakrichten, who are an extremely reliable and trusted Dortmund paper. So thank you very much for joining me today, Sasha. Yes, you're welcome. I'm happy to do that. Well, uh, Jaden Sancho, it's, it's been a summer-long saga for United fans. We're kind of used to these sorts of sagas. And I suppose you, as a, a Dortmund reporter, having covered Dortmund 15 years, have seen plenty of this. But what has been going on this week with Sancho? Because we've had reports in England saying that an 80 million plus 20 million add-ons bid has been rejected. Hey, is that the case on the ground in Dortmund? What is the word? Yeah, the word is uh, that there's nothing new over the last seven weeks. Uh, to be honest, uh, Borussia Dortmund uh, has set a deadline. It was on August the 10th. Uh, the deadline said uh, when there's a club who will uh, pay 120 million euros in one sum up to that date, Sancho can move. Um, but there was no club uh, uh, up to that deadline who uh, offered this money. So um, when they uh, traveled to the training camp in the summer um, and Sancho was on board the plane, um, it was uh, sure that he will stay in Dortmund uh, for the next season. That uh, was uh, the word uh, the Borussia Dortmund officials gave not only the media, also their own fans. And um, uh, as I would like to explain you in England, um, when we hear in this Dortmund region say it's our word, then it means it is like a promise You're, you, you, you cannot break. Uh, the word is, um, is, is like uh, safe. So um, it was uh, clear uh, from this uh, 10th of August on that Jaden Sancho will stay in Dortmund. So, so would you say at this stage that even if United were to come in this week with a bid of 120 million euros, which is the asking price, would Dortmund reject that and would Sancho be staying this summer? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Um, uh, Dortmund would reject it because um, um, they had this deadline and uh, they said uh, after that day there's no chance to talk about it, talk about a transfer. And um, even if there's a, there would be a club or even Manchester United would say, hey, we will pay 140, 150 million euros, um, Dortmund would reject it. Well... I wouldn't blame Dortmund at this point if that was to happen because, let's be honest, Manchester United have really dragged this out because we haven't offered what Dortmund wanted. Now, one question I've got, which has been a bit strange, I think, about this transfer, is a lot of it's gone through intermediaries. It's not really been United and Dortmund dealing with each other directly. Now, has that been Dortmund's choice to do that? Is that how Dortmund uh, goes through transfers? Is this quite normal? to happen, but it happens all through intermediaries, because to me, it seems to have complicated the process a little bit. Uh, do you mean, is it normal for Dortmund that they uh, stay hard in that case, or...? Yes, yeah, so, so with the intermediaries, it's not Dortmund and United speaking to each other directly as clubs, it's more towards middlemen and agents who sort of do the negotiations rather than the clubs negotiating uh, No, directly. I think um, um, our information is that uh, Dortmund transmitted all the conditions to Manchester United directly. There was Hans-Joachim Watzke, the boss of Borussia Dortmund, who, uh, um, when I um, remember in the right way, who phoned with Woodward in, uh, in Manchester, and he transmitted all the conditions and said, there's that deadline, that sum, um, and um, uh, Manchester was informed about all that. Um, but um, there, there was always... Uh, there were always these uh, discussions about offers from Manchester and next offer and next offer. And our information was there was no offer up to that deadline. Only there were, um, um, let's say, talks about it, but there was not a serious offer um, for Jaden Sancho. And so Borussia Dortmund decided, OK, uh, up to August the 10th, there's uh, no offer. And so uh, we decide now Sancho will stay uh, one more year. And there was a, a, um, a fact that uh, no one in, in the media in, in Dortmund or in, in Germany uh, knew. Um, last 
summer in uh, 2019, they uh, extended his contract for one more year um, without saying anyone. Um, so um, Borussia Dortmund was in a great position this summer um, because they know um, when we do not get the money for him we want this summer, we try to get the money next summer because um, even next summer his contract uh, will uh, will uh, um, be for two two more years. So there's no need to sell him this summer. Um, they they are in a, in a really good position to uh, um, keep in their opinion and to reject any and any offer. So would you expect would you expect Sancho to leave next summer? If he doesn't leave this summer, then? Yeah, um, I think um, he will leave next summer. I think yes. Um, the question, the central question, is um, which, which sum will um, Borussia Dortmund uh, call next summer? Again, 120 million euros, less, more. Um, I think it depends on what will do the pandemic with all the clubs and with their budgets. And um, what, uh, what will Borussia Dortmund need next summer? Uh, this year, they um, made a loss of 45 million euros um, because uh, of the pandemic. And um, if it uh, holds on without um, fans in the stadium, with um, not so much um, uh, incomes for the club, then perhaps uh, Sancho will be cheaper next summer, but uh, that's only speculation. Now, Dortmund, with United, previously we signed Kagawa from Dortmund, we signed Mkhitaryan from Dortmund. Uh, relatively straightforward. What do you think has been different with Sancho? Uh, what, what is different this time around that has caused these complications? Yeah, Jadon Sancho is um, the most important player of this young Dortmund squad. Um, Dortmund has many young players. As the last one, they um, they um, um, signed Jude Bellingham from Birmingham, also a young English player, and he plays a central role in this new uh, young Dortmund squad. And um, you need, they need Jadon Sancho to play a key role in this squad. And when you when you lose him, they say you have to get the money he's worth it, and uh, they say it's 120 million euros worth. So um, he is too important to sell him for a less price, they say. So um, he, uh, he's a good striker. He's a good assist man. Um, he was the, the most valuable player of the whole Bundesliga season when you uh, think about scoring points. Um, he's tricky. He's, uh, he has unbelievable speed, as you know. He's like a, like a rocket with a ball on his feet. And um, as I said, he's so important for this young Dortmund squad. You have uh, teenager Erling Haaland in, as a striker. You have Jude Bellingham in the, as a midfielder. You have Gio Reyna, the U.S. American, as a midfielder. He's also um, a teenager. And you have um, more young players. So Jane Sancho even is only 20 years old. So um, um, he's so important for this squad, for the success of Borussia Dortmund that they decide he is worth 120 million euros and point. Now, two players you've mentioned there, uh, Jude Bellingham and Erling Haaland. Man United were linked with both of them. Both players moved to Dortmund. Why do you think those players chose to move to Dortmund instead of United? Yeah, Borussia Dortmund um, is, um, has grown over the last few years, um, becoming uh, a really important club for young players because here you get the chance to play instead of uh, sitting frustrated uh, on the bench. Um, you get your playing time here on the pitch and you can develop here in a, on a high level but um, uh, without really big pressure as you have at Manchester United, at perhaps Real Madrid or at Barcelona. Um, in Dortmund you have high level, you have a great stadium with enthusiastic fans it's a it's a great surrounding but you have the chance to develop here and to to um, make experiences um, more you can uh, do in other clubs like like Bayern Munich um, 
Erling Haaland also had a had an offer from Bayern Munich, but uh, he decided to go to Dortmund because his perspective in Dortmund as a young player to develop here, to have playing time is much better. Now, something that I'm really interested in is your opinion or the, the, the opinion of the German press in terms of United. Uh, are we the sort of laughing stock in Dortmund for how we've gone about these negotiations? Uh, what do you think about how United have dealt with this this summer and the Sancho move? Yeah, I think um, it is a difficult situation for Manchester United because they know um, they have to present a, a great player for the fans and uh, they're one of the biggest clubs in the world. So um, they have to present um, players with great names and Jadon Sancho is doubtlessly one player with uh, one of the biggest names uh, in football Europe uh, actually, so um, he was the number one target, and they were uh, very sure to uh, get him. And perhaps it was the tactic to um, to um, um, play a little bit with Borussia Dortmund's officials and to say, ah, deadline, tenth of August. Um, uh, perhaps uh, we can, um, uh, as long uh, as longer as we can uh, come to the start of the new season. We perhaps can um, get him for less money, um, but um, Borussia Dortmund's officials, as I said, are uh, very strict and very hard in their decisions. And um, uh, for us here, because we know how the officials think here and how they act, uh, it, uh, it was sure for more than six, nearly seven weeks, that Sancho will stay here. But And, and so we couldn't understand that uh, on your island around Manchester um, no one believed or, uh, or or not all people believed that um, um, that there was really no chance to get Sancho so um, I think that's a, that's a question of how good you know the the people who decided uh, who decide who um, who are the bosses of this club and we know you know because of our experience that um, Hans-Joachim Watzke and Michael Zorg, uh, the sport manager, he does it for more than 20 years. And uh, there are lots of examples where he uh, did it in the same way um, to uh, have uh, his deadlines and his, um, his sums, he talks about, um, that we knew six weeks, seven weeks ago, that uh, there will be no chance uh, to uh, to lose um, Sancho to Manchester United. As far as we know, we're being told over here by the British press that United are still trying to sign Sancho in the next few days. But you said that for the last seven weeks, you've known that Sancho's not leaving. So why are we still hearing over here that United is still in for him? Yeah, um, I don't know, but um, I think um, that um, perhaps United tries everything uh, they can to um, to um, bring the Borussia Dortmund officials uh, to think again about it. But uh, um, as I said, um, they gave a promise here and they uh, won't uh, decide anything else. And um, they said uh, he's this uh, 120 million euros worth it, and um, so he he won't leave, uh, or he, he only will leave at that that moment when a club pays this 120 million euros. Um, but I think Manchester United um, 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 had this or still has uh, this this number one target, Jadon Sancho, and so they. Um, they, they, they tried everything, but uh, our information is um, there, was, uh, there was not an offer which uh, came near to the 120 million uh, Borussia Dortmund uh, wants to have. So by the sounds of it, Sancho to United won't be happening this summer. Um, thank you very much for your time today there, Sasha. It's really interesting to hear from the opinion of yourself from the German press as to what's gone on and by the looks of it United I mean, we all knew that United had the opportunity to pay 120 million and sign Jadon Sancho but United were just not willing to pay that amount will that happen next summer maybe it's going to be more than 120 million maybe it'll be less I don't know but I really appreciate your time today Sasha uh, 
by the sounds of it, United aren't going to be signing Sancho in the next few days. Maybe it's going to be Usman Dembele instead. But it's a bit of a shambles, really, how United have acted, in my opinion, with this Sancho transfer. Uh, but let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And as I said, thank you very much for your time today, Sasha. Yes, you're welcome.